Hi everyone, it's Allie. Welcome to the Team Tiny Crescent Creation Hop, where we were sent a couple digital stamps to work with. And I decided for my um, project, I was gonna make a piece of Halloween decor. So here is a picture of it there. I went ahead and printed out the digital stamps that I was given. And then I decided to use almost all of the pieces. I'm gonna show you them right here. And you can use those. She has birthday sentiments in there, Halloween sentiments. Um, it, it's a very fun set. And I think that's very versatile too because if you wanted to use that house and tree um, for something other than Halloween, even the candy, you can do that. So I pulled out a couple pieces of black paper. I pulled out Hero Arts, Jack-O-Lantern Fancy Dies, and a Honey Bee Lantern Builder Die. And I'm going to first cut out four of the lanterns. And then I'm going to cut out a strip of paper about an inch in width that's going to fit the length of that lantern. And all I did was put a crease, um, I scored it in the center, and then I put a little piece of score tape on each side, and that is how I'm going to attach those four pieces together. And then once those are attached, it's going to create like a little hinge, and then you're going to have um, your lantern. So I did want to say that I saw a blog post um, on Honeybee Stamps when that lantern builder came out. So she showed how she did her 3D lantern. So I took inspiration from that to make mine. Now, I don't have any of the pop-up dies or anything like that. So I just decided to create my own. And I made the bottom, you can see there, and I could have made it in one piece, but I wanted to use the black paper that I had. <laughs> I was trying not to add any more um, because I am very low on black paper. So um, I made the bottom of the lantern. Again, I'm using score tape on all of this. And then I cut out three pieces of that top of the lantern. It was a die that came in there as well in case you wanna change the color. Um, and that's where I was going to put my digital stamp so I can pop them up. Now, I needed to add a little tab on the side, which I'm going to put score tape on there as well, so then I can stick that into the bottom. So these stamps were so cute, I didn't resize them or anything, and I hope you saw my cat <laughs> run over there. But I colored these with my Ohuhu alcohol markers. And I had recently bought the pastel set, so I wanted to try those out. So I decided to do more of like a non-traditional um, Halloween colors. And I think they came out so fun. And so I am just gluing those on where I want. I cut everything out. Now I did leave a little bit more of white space on those because I wanted my stamps to be a bit stronger. Um, and because when you cut those, it would be so thin if you took all of the um, cardstock and cut it off. Um, I thought they were gonna like rip apart. So basically I should have did this before I glued them in, but I colored all of the white around my images black. Um, just so it you wouldn't be able to tell that I did leave white space there. So once I had all of those glued and let them dry for a few minutes, I added my score tape to the tabs and I went ahead and positioned those where I thought was cute um, in the bottom of my lantern. So I also decided I wanted to decorate the top so I did use the fancy dies I had to make a pumpkin. And then um, I cut out my little hook portion of the lantern builder. 
And just so you know, I did cut that out with colored cardstock, and then I did add some coloring details, um, again, with those Ahuhu markers. So I'm just going to get that put in the bottom there. And I did, why I do that, I wanted to let you know that Crescent Creation is providing a $25 gift card. So again, the more videos you like and leave a comment on, the more chances you will have to win. And they have some really cute um, digital stamps that just came out for fall and Halloween. Um, I'm going to have their website listed below so you can go ahead um, and check it out for yourself. But they were really easy to work with. Like I said, I, um, I didn't maneuver them or anything like that. I went ahead and just printed them out and colored them. And now I'm <laughs> tying this bow. I am not the best bow tire. Um, so I just left a few seconds of that in there but I did um, basically like a double bow and I'm going to glue that um, behind the pumpkin just to make my project a little more sparklier and that was ribbon I had actually bought from Stampin Up um, a couple years ago and it is like my favorite ribbon I just want to use it on everything and I should have bought another roll of it <laughs> but it came in handy for this so I loved the stamps that I got to work with. Um, they really inspired me. They made a perfect decor piece. Um, so I found it very fun to work with. So again, I'm just gonna use my score tape, not glue here to make sure that that adheres really well. And I am going to pop that on the front of my piece and then that will finish um, my little lantern there. And you could also print um, these images out a little bigger if you want and just use one or two of them to put inside. Um, and then put, you know, one of those little battery operated candles behind it. You can even add some vellum to the sides so then it will light up for this one i just wanted it um plain i just wanted all the stamps in there that you could see really well um and a cute outside so i just want to thank everyone for joining us today please click on the link and watch everyone's videos and if you like them, please go ahead and go over to Crescent Creation um, and see what they have. So good luck to winning the gift card, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. Yeah.